Hi everyone. Today I am going to do a um, well, it's, it's, it, I'm going to do something that Shelly did. It's, um, she called it a comb, comb over pearl, comb over pearls, um, using interference paints over black. Um, I'm going to do something similar, but I'm going to use my wedge. I don't have the same kind of comb as she has. Um, her video, by the way, her video is, uh, 487 called, called comb over pearls um, obviously I'm calling mine something different it's not a, really a comb over it's a wedge over I guess <laughs> so I'm going to use the wedge um, I'm going to add um, almost the same colors as her three of them you know, she only uses actually three other than the black background um, I'm adding another color um, it's a mixture of frost and sea glass. Oh, I can't see. I mix those two together pretty much equal, e um, equally. So that's what I'm using. And as well, I am going to use... This is very pretty. I'm going to use... Um, sequence, brulee, and glisten. So, hopefully I can get the same amazing result. Anyway, I'm using a, a round canvas instead of a square. It's like a canvas board. It's a um, birch, birch wood or something. Uh, it's fairly thick. It's not really thin. I forget where I got these. I think I got these at uh, the dollar store. Dollarama. So, I'm going to um, add my base. It's a black base. Shelly uses a, a white base or a white pillow and then she puts a faux uh, black um, pouring medium mixture on top. I have black so I am going to use just black. I think that's enough. Um... I just need to spread it around a little bit more. Just open it up a bit. And it looks like there's a little bit of a something here. Yep. Blob. Okay. So, okay. Oh, and I am going to use, instead of a black cell activator, I'm using Prussian Blue. I'm having really good results with Prussian Blue. It's Amsterdam. I love it. And it's not an opaque color. It's... It is... It is uh, semi-transparent. And it works. It works great. So, I'm going to add the sea glass and uh, frost first. Just, I think it's a little bit uh, thin, but I hope it's okay. Um, Then sequence.
lemon brulee. this is just my version of it okay so then glisten All right. Now. Now I'm going to swipe just across this part here and I'm using Prussian blue. small oh. all right I'm just, I'm just going to swipe through here Cells. Can you see that? That's gorgeous. Let's tip it this way a little bit. All right. Okay, I'm going to go through it. I might have to go through it twice. So, um, how am I going to do this? I think the other one that I had will work better. No, not so much. I am going to scrape this and start over. All right. All right, I failed it. Hopefully I'll nail it. <laughs> so that doesn't work. This this doesn't work. The um the they're not long enough in here, so it should be long like a like a long uh, comb. Or I'm gonna use a. This is all I have. It's a pick. So I'm gonna try this. See how that works. Okay, here we go again. I think too. Maybe I've added too much paint on here. I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to spin it out a little bit, thin it down. Hopefully that will work. All right. 
right. Starting out with the same colors. These are very thin too. I think they should be a little bit thicker. So, uh, we'll see. See if it, if I can get it to work somehow. That was the mixture of frost and sea glass. Next is sequence. I hope it's the right. Okay, sequence. Okay, brulee. needs to be a little bit thicker so I'm gonna go over it again or wider I should say <laughs> and then glisten um, the glisten I think yep I'm gonna swipe with this I think I have better luck with that than what I was trying to use all right so now my cell activator Again, very nice, very nice. Okay, so here we go. So not being very wide, I'm going to probably have to go over it twice. So let's go. Let's go this way. Turn out quite the same, but I like it. Different. Everything can't be the same. And I think I need to add more black around here. So, but before I do it, Before I do it, I'm going to run my skewer through. This actually should be a little bit wider, but that's okay. go like this. 
All right. I like it. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more black paint around this. Because I don't want to. Uh, well, let's see what happens with the first spin, and then I might have to still add some. Or what I can do is do that a bit. No, I don't think I should. All right, here we go. Here's spin number one. Um, you know what? Maybe I will go through this again. I think I need to bring it up here because I don't want much more of that bottom to spin off. But I better be careful so it doesn't. Oh, see? It almost spun right off. So what I have to do. Is add some paint underneath so it doesn't spin off. I've got it taped underneath anyway, so. I'm not fussy on this part here, so. I think it's pretty. See, this, this color here I knew was a little bit too thin, so when I went, ran my skewer through it, it didn't show up like these ones here. Okay, I think that's good. done. I'm going to show you a close-up.
All right. Let's bring it up. All right, let this dry and I'll show you at the end. Hi, I'm back with the dried result. Dried really nice, nice and smooth. I think it looks pretty cool. It's a beauty. All right, so I thank you for watching my video and uh, I hope you come back for more. Uh, have a great day. Bye for now.